Here's how this works. Water, salt, and pepper, those are freebies. Your pantry, it better have flour, oil, vinegar, mustard, and garlic. Beyond that, you'll only need five more ingredients and 25 minutes to put an entree or entire meal on the table. So, shop, set the clock, and let's dish out. We will, of course, kick things off with some chicken. I've got about four, six to seven ounce cutlets there. Some dry white wine of your choosing. Some artichoke hearts, preferably have. These are quartered, they'll work just fine, and they are packed in oil, that's a key. Some bursin garlic and herb cheese, and then a bag of baby spinach. Honestly, you could do two bags. Um, stuff just wilts away to almost nothing in the sauce. We're gonna start by taking those artichoke hearts and getting a little color on them. Now these are packed in oil. You don't wanna dump all the oil in, but there should be enough on there so that you don't need to add any to the pan to begin with. Once they've got a little color on them and they are warm through, go ahead and get them out of the skillet. Add a little more olive oil in if needed, and then we'll go in with our four chicken cutlets and maybe try and get them a little better spread out than I did here, because obviously chicken cooks more evenly when it's not touching up against other ch chicken. We'll season that up with some fresh cracked pepper and a nice pinch of salt. Give them four to five minutes. And then of course, chicken will let, let you know exactly when it's ready to be flipped because it will release naturally from the skillet. Once we flip it over, we'll season that second side, of course, more pepper and salt. And then after a few more minutes, we'll get it out. It's okay if it's not cooked through yet, we're gonna finish it in the sauce. So we're gonna deglaze with about a half a cup or three quarters of a cup of that wine. Make sure to scrape up all those flavorful, beautiful brown bits. And then I actually added a little splash of water just to make sure I had plenty of liquid in here. It turned out to not be necessary, but I'm going to just swirl in that cheese. And as it starts to melt, just crumble it up. It'll melt right into that sauce. We're going to reach into the pantry and grab a couple teaspoons of Dijon mustard and three or four minced cloves of garlic. That is garlic. You caught me. Sorry. That's just going to add extra depth of flavor and body to the sauce. Next up, add that spinach. And as always, it's just going to wilt into almost nothing in the sauce. Once it's mostly wilted down, we are going to return our chicken cutlets to the sauce, along with, of course, any accumulated juices, because that's just free flavor. We'll also return those artichoke hearts and cover it up until they're cooked through. For me, it was like three or four minutes, but it just depends on the thickness of your chicken breast. We'll plate this up. Make sure you get plenty of that sauce. If you want the sauce a little thicker, then you could finish cooking the chicken with the lid off, or you could coat the chicken in a little bit of flour before you... Uh, cook it that would give a little more body to the sauce but honestly this was perfect for me it would have been great with some rice or noodles but i just had to just try it all on its own except for that little flurry of green onion as you can see because we finished cooking it in the liquid it's, it's almost like poached it's just really succulent and juicy it's some great flavors a little zing from the mustard of course the richness from the cheese and the nice fruity notes from the wine make sure you get a bite with everything together it's really tasty and uh if you like spinach and artichoke dip and you like chicken, you're going to love this. I guarantee it. Now it's your turn to go make something delicious. <laughs>